Hi. <laughs> um, so welcome to our last power hour, our last working power hour of 2018, which seems really, really crazy because I don't know about you guys, but this year went really, really fast. I was laying in bed last night and I was looking at Owen and I'm like, he is gigantic. Oliver is gigantic. I don't even know where this year went. And it's been such a year where I feel like a lot of us have gone through some really trying growth times, we'll call them. Difficult, hard things that you had to really grow through. And um, so many of us too, like not just a couple of us, there's been a lot of us, but at the end of the day, when you look at how our businesses are and where our teams are headed and everything, at the end of the day, even though this was the toughest year personally in my life, like the absolute hardest for me, um, like it, it's one of the best in the business because I have never felt so connected to the team. Like I've never been so inspired and felt so supported and felt so complete and <clears throat> I've always been confident of where my business is going to go because I, I made a decision a long time ago that it didn't matter what happened, I was going to be successful. Like I didn't care if it took me four years, five years, three years, 10 years, this is the vehicle that was gonna get me there. I was passionate about it and nobody was gonna stand in my way. So like I always thought like I'm gonna be, I'm confident that I'm gonna get there someday, but the level of confidence and, um, belief I have in the team and just all of you this year, which has inspired me so much and picked me up like in the hardest times is just amazing. So before we even move on with the call, I just wanted you all to take like a deep breath in and breathe in all the amazingness that happened this year, even through all the trials and be excited about how big 2019 is going to be because do you even realize how big it's going to be? I mean, Amanda, you know, right? You, you know how big it's going to be. And I, we haven't talked about that. I just know that she can feel it. There's an energy and there's something different. And, um, and it feels good, right, Rob? Feels really good. Feels good. Rob's my secretary today. If anybody needs anything done, just let me know. Growing with grit. Oh, I'm like, Carly? She's not on here though. Okay, awesome. So we are going to kick off with just a couple things. Two things I want to say. Number one is that um, the goal getters as a whole is one tiny puzzle piece away from hitting premiere again this year for the second time, which is amazing. And like I said, crazy because it's been the hardest year for so many of us, but that's what it shows you what happens when you grow through things together. Um, so I'm super excited about that. Whether we hit it or whether we don't, that isn't really, I mean, it matters, right? It matters. It's amazing. It brings momentum and things, but at the end of the day, um, it shows you that it's the real, the real deal to get to the end of the year and see like, oh my gosh, we're right there. We just need to do this. Right. So that's awesome. And that's nothing to do. And maybe it's something to do with me, but it absolutely isn't a major, like all me thing. It's absolutely everybody here. Even people that aren't in the go-getters, like Jolene and I are both on Christina's team and her coach is Bree and um, everyone else. You guys, you are a part of all of this and we're a part of all yours too, because we do so much together. So that just um, really is exciting. It shows me how much growth and momentum and how much we're going in the right direction. The other thing I wanted to say, is that how I feel like we're going to explode in 2019 um, <clears throat> starts because I feel like we're all really working from the heart more than ever, which I think is how you really are successful in this business. But two, you guys, if you are not really knowledgeable about Transform 20, and I'm not promoting it like crazy. I'm not saying go out there and talk about it every single day and you're trying to get it to everybody because that's I'm not even doing that myself. But to really know what, um, what you have there is really important because it is such an answer for so many people. Like, it really, really is. It can actually, it's not a step program, which Annie was, it's so funny. She said that to me the other day and I thought that too when it first came out. And then I've heard Shanti even say something about it, but it's not a step program, but um, it can appeal to the people that would like it to be because they can modify it in a way that could make it, they could put their spin on it and have fun with it that way. But then it can also appeal to the people are like, no, how he explains it. Like if you do a chest press and you're laying on the ground, you have this range of motion. 
that's all you can do, right? But if you're laying on a bench, you have more range of motion. So that step gives you more range of motion to get better results and things. And it's only 20 minutes. I mean, it's fun. It's something no one's done. It's going to really, really be exciting. So I just want to kind of remind you all that we have a really, really big advantage on always being the go-to person for January 1st, first of all, by showing up and being the person that's showing up now and doing it when it's inconvenient. The biggest thing ever that I've ever done to help my business be successful is show up when it's inconvenient. When I show up when it's inconvenient, that's when I show people that I'm, they can trust me, right? When I show up when it's convenient, well, everybody does that. We can all show up when it's convenient. It's showing up when it's inconvenient that really makes the, the game changer. So it's showing up now and showing up in the holidays and showing that you just had a sub with white bread because they messed up and whatever. You ate it anyway and it was delicious. And um, yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, showing all those things and, sh and being the person, the go-to person for January 1st, but then having this awesome thing to be able to offer everyone as well. So really make sure that you're brushed up on that. Um, and there's some really fun things coming. So before I even like move on to the rest of it, Jalene and Amanda, did you guys have any quick announcements or piggybacks that you wanted to say from what I just said? Um, Sean T just did a live call for the whole downline. If you guys weren't on it about an hour ago and, um, it was great. Like again, it just, he's awesome. So the energy that he brings and the motivation that he brings, use that to your advantage. I agree. And then just another thought, if you're thinking, oh, well, transform 20 really isn't something I want to do, or I don't know, then, then market to two different people. Say I have two groups starting. One is this. And then one is a more basic. If you're just getting started, I just had this come to my brain, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm speaking it out loud, but like a 21 day fix group and then an option for the transform 20 group. So you could be intermixing. And so you're hitting, hitting everybody. You know what I mean? So you don't have to feel yourself that um, you're excluding, right? If that makes sense. Yeah. I just think that being a part of a launch is so big for your business. If you want to build this business even this much, um, you need to be a part of it. <laughs> and if you're not, then you're not building a business. Then you're just doing this for fun, which is fine. That's also fine. It is completely fine. But if you're not planning to do this program, then you're not wanting to build a big business like the three of us and bring it home and not have to go to your job anymore. I'll just say that. Maybe that's a little harsh, but I think it's true. I, I do agree. And we'll say that coming off of when 80 day launched last year, I had just had surgery like a couple months before that. And it was the biggest game changer for me personally, number one. And then everybody saw it. And so it like propelled that forward. So even if you think you can't, you know, it's not always the case. I just did what I could. And that was super, super inspiring to other people. And you don't have to be doing exactly what everybody else is doing in the move. It's just that you're showing up. You create an album, you let people follow your journey. So I do, I do agree with Amanda. You need to get on the boat or, and, and do, and do something. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do have some people that I know, like some of my customers that are coming to mind right now that are in the middle or they just started a program that's actually going to take them beyond the launch. Mm -hmm. And if that's the case for you too, and you're committed to that program, I think that that's fine. But just talking about it, that this is an option for your future is also a good way to take advantage of the launch. Like I'm doing this, but I'm so excited that after this, I have something that da, 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 da. You know, so that's a good way of taking advantage of the launch, um, too, without giving up on maybe what you're doing also. But, okay. I think with that, I will just say with that, I think some backwards planning could have been very helpful for someone who was like, oh, but now I'm doing 80 day obsession and transform 20 launches January 14th. Like I was strategic with the programs that I chose right now. Like I literally finish Live 4 the day before Transform 20 starts. And it, it worked out that way where I was able to take like a week and do whatever. Um, so I think it is important to be looking ahead to those dates when you're planning out your kind of next program and things coming up. So, no, they're just little plugs. Yes, 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 I agree. 
Okay, awesome. So today we are going to be doing something, you guys, a little bit different. Um, we normally do our power hours and we kind of say we're doing it towards um, Facebook and we're also intertwining with what do, uh, Instagram, whatever you want to do. But we thought today that we would do, because Instagram is such a big part of everyone's growth right now, um, which some people are like, I'm not, I'm not comfortable with it. And that's kind of like the same thing with leaning in, even when it doesn't feel good sometimes. Like I wasn't comfortable with it either until um, we leaned in and did the training. And now it's like where I'm getting every person basically that joins me is from Instagram. Um, so we decided that we wanted to do the Instagram, just an all Instagram, um, power hour with you tonight. So you can do this in a chunk of time like this, or you can break them up throughout the day. If you're going to break that up throughout the day, if like maybe this is your power hour, but tomorrow you have 10 minutes here, 15 minutes there, what are you going to do? I want to tell you my biggest tip and my biggest tip. And I think Amanda and Jolene would agree as well is when you get when let's say tomorrow we do this today and it's great. And then tomorrow I only have three 15 minute segments that I can work my business in the first 15 minutes that I work my business. I have to make sure that I'm doing my income producing activities first, because really those other, oh, those other 15 minute pockets you might have later, they may not happen. And if they don't, you want to make sure that you're doing those income producing eat that frog activity first. So for me, what that would be for me, and what I think it is for a lot of people, but it may be different for you, but absolutely what it is for me is my personal development, my invites, and um, connecting with people that have commented and liked my stuff from the day before. Those things, if I don't do those right away, I might not catch up to them because all day, if I have a 10 minute pocket or a 15 minute pocket, I'm like, Ooh, I can add people because I have 10 minutes. Ooh, let me, and let me, as you get through the day, you start getting drawn and grabbed by all those people who are sending you messages and the notifications are popping up and it's harder to stay focused. So just know we're doing this all at once, but if you have to break it up throughout the day, do your income producing activities first, because then if nothing else happens, you still moved your business forward. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull up this and then I'll just go ahead and do the first one. And um, Jolene or Amanda, if you guys want to jump in on the second one, you want to do that? Mix or do you want me to just, okay. okay. Whatever. All right. Let's see. Um, hello, sharing screen. Where are you? There you are. Okay. So I, first of all, hey, who can do Instagram without their phone? BRB. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is search a hashtag that relates to your brand and follow it. Okay. So what I want you to do is if you have pen and paper in front of you, you are going to do a quick write down quick, like don't overthink it of six to 10 things that you are your brand. And if you're like, Oh my gosh, I'm crippled. I don't know what my brand is. Your brand is your life phase. Do you have kids? Do you not? Are you a full-time worker? You know, all those things. What is your brand? But don't just keep it as I'm a wife. I'm a mom. I have boys. I'm a hairstylist. Don't just keep it at that. Go deep to what really makes you you. Like Amanda loves French fries. She loves them. That's part of her brand. I know that because Amanda loves French fries. She talks about it. She really loves French fries, right? I really love Nutella. People know that. I like to ride my, this fat bike with my dad because it gives me more time with my dad, right? And I get that whatever. Amanda used to run. Like um, there's Jolene, yours is her at that point when she was going through, she just gave us a great example. Her brand is she had to have that surgery, right? She, her brand changed when she had that. She has other people that appeal to her now, recovering from that and building back through that. Postpartum, things like that. Six to 10 things, super quick, your life phase currently. Your brand will change. So I like to, every three months or so, reestablish if my life, my life phase or has changed or not. So I'm gonna give you guys just one minute really quick to do that. I'm literally going to do a timer. Okay.
An example would be I'm a breastfeeding mom. I have always said I've been, everyone knows that, but now it's like extended breastfeeding because he's 16 months. So I have to keep that in mind and I can now change my hashtags and change my audience a little bit. About 15 more seconds. All right, time's up. So just to give you guys some examples of what I wrote down, um, these are my life phase, okay? So that make me me. So I'm a boy mom, extended breastfeeding, bonus mom, Chicago Christmas. That's like kind of my something that I'm focusing on right now like as I was walking through Menards everyone took pictures with their Christmas tree cutting them down and I took a picture of the Christmas tree in the in the cart and I'll use that hashtag uh, blended families dog mom which is kind of broad but we have a Persian cat so I need to kind of start working towards that because that's a different market sleepless mom we all know that I am a total sweet lover Nutella and in my recent years I've become more fond of swearing so I think that that's one of them. Um, Rob, did I miss anything? Me. More fond of my husband. Hashtag. Hashtag. Hashtag love your husband. Um, you should have heard or seen us on the call with Carly earlier. It was really funny. Um, so those are just some ideas that came to mind. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a hashtag that relates to something that I really I'm thinking so out of all those things that I just said extended breastfeeding is one that really stands out to me and is a strong life phase for me I use breastfeeding mom right now, but extended breastfeeding is a whole other market So I'm going to follow a hashtag that's extended or toddler breastfeeding something like that I'm gonna find that hashtag. I'm gonna follow it if you guys want to throw some Ideas that you've had that you find whatever one you think is really good and throw it in the chat and we can kind of look at that and see um give you guys more suggestions or even just cheer you on and say, yes, that's awesome. And then it might give some other purpose. Also, um, displaypurposes.com. If you're having a hard time and you go to a hashtag and you're like, there's like a hundred million posts or a hundred million people follow this. If you go to displaypurposes.com and you type in that hashtag, It'll then give you a whole nother list of hashtags that are similar to that one that may give you a more narrow um, focus. I love so, that. I didn't know that. Yeah. I learned that from Jen Richardson, I think it was. One of her Instagram, one of those, her Instagram paintings, you know? Yes. The, a newer one? Yes. Her new one. I think she, it was I in her old one. It might've been in her old one too, but it's definitely in her new one. Okay, so step one for me is done. When you are done, go ahead and type that in the chat. What one you're following and done. You guys have one and a half minutes left. It's good to do this and follow other hashtags, but it's kind of like groups on Facebook. You don't want to follow too many at once. You don't want to focus and then you're missing some things. Really hone in on maybe one or two to actively follow and watch to find people from um, at a time. Okay, so we have a step two to this part. So don't take too long in finding it. Let's commit to one so we can do step two of this. 
anxiety sufferer, band mom, soccer mom, desert tea fan, Disney mom. So those are all good. I love those. Boyfriend's dog. That's good. See how Amanda, Amanda's is, what are you laughing at with Carly? Because we were just talking in a private chat about oh. Disney. <laughs> um, menopause, physical therapist. Okay, so these are all good, you guys, but when you look at them, they're probably going to be broad. So that's a great thing that, Amanda, you just brought up that site. Go to that site because boyfriend's dog, I'm sure that it narrows it down from like dog lover, dog owner, pit bull or whatever kind of dog it is um, to, okay, boyfriend's dog, there's going to be a certain, you know, a smaller amount of people that follow that. And that's what you want because you want your picture to be showing up in that feed when you hashtag it all the time. Whereas if it's someone that has, I would say, to be honest with you, what would you guys say, Jolene and Amanda, like 50,000 or less? Mm -hmm. That's what I would say for the number of people that follow that hashtag or number of, um, yeah, ne the number next to the hashtag. Actually because if it's more than that, then yours, your posts are just going to get buried. Picky eater solution. That's so good. the other thing is too, if you guys didn't realize, so when you type in something on Instagram as well, besides what, um, Amanda said, the other website to go to, if you type in, like I just typed in registered nurse, and then you can see right here that it says related hashtags. And so there's a whole bunch of other ones that gives you, cause like registered nurse pulled up 25 well surprisingly only 25,000 so I could follow that but then we have nurses of Instagram ER nurse nurses be like nurses on duty nurse life RN so there's so many other hashtags right there that you could also then click like if you're the nurse grind that has 30,000 and then there gives you more related to so it keeps going and going and going to try to get you to have different ideas where you could start to follow other hashtags or find other people through that so um if you didn't know that, that's also, that's been super helpful to me too. Cause like out of one thing, I can find like 15 hashtags that I want to use in a post. So then I'm attracting those people, right? Lindsay, you're muted. You were just muted that whole time. I was just muted that whole time. Yeah. Yeah. I was just seeing if you were going to guess that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what I was saying was, um, I just did that, what Jolene said, just to see, and I used boy mom, which is really broad. But when I, when I did that and I took it down to find, I found one that was 9,000 ish posts, which that means I'm going to show up in there if I put this hashtag every single time. Right. And, um, it was boy mom adventures and it was only 9,000. Now, what are you doing with these hashtags? You guys are creating hashtags that are up to 30 that you are putting after your post, either in the first comment or after a bunch of dots in your post. And what that's going to do is it shows your picture in any of these areas where people go to look at. So what you want to do is um, now that you have searched your brand, wrote down some things, you've found hopefully a hashtag you're going to follow. I want you to follow that. And then I want you to like and comment on a few of the images. And then um, let's see, look for images that catch your eye, follow those people. You're looking for images at your eye, following them, liking and commenting on a few of their images on their page, and then send them a message related to it. So let's do this for three people. I'm going to give you guys five minutes because we're not overthinking this. So what you're going to do is you're going to find an image at that hashtag that you like. You're going to follow that person. You're going to go to their page. You're going to like three of their images and then message them about one of the images. You can say, oh my gosh, I love your dog. Where'd you get that sweater? I wish my dog would let me put sweaters on them. Like it doesn't have to be anything, you know, crazy and, um, and weird or heavy. Just let it be natural. So I'm putting the timer on and we are going. If you have any questions, please ask. That's what we're here for.
So make sure that they're not people like under this boy mom adventures. I just was like, oh my gosh, this is a great post. And I followed it and she has transformed 20 up. So make sure you really look at their page to know that they're not a coach. I wish you could narrow down, like, I only want to see United States, Canada. <laughs> right, I know. United Kingdom. So sometimes I use this, actually, I say this a lot, and it's because I mean it. Like this person, I just liked a few of her things, and I simply said, oh my gosh, I love your page. Your images are beautiful. Are you a photographer? because I'm really curious. She has amazing photos. So let it be natural. Five, four, three, two, one, send something. So do this for three people, like three other things, send them a message on one. Now, as you're doing this, make sure that you write down who you're sending these messages to. Tracking is huge in this business. You guys have two minutes left. And I don't think I need to say this, but I'm going to say this. Um, some of you might think, I don't need to write down or track who I messaged because it's in my inbox. And so I can just go to my inbox and it's right there. So I'll remember, I did that in the beginning of my business and I can't tell you how many people fell through the cracks. Don't do that. Just make a habit now of always tracking your business pen to paper, business activity tracker, Excel spreadsheet, Teamsy, whatever it is. All right, time's up. Now I just had you do three instead of five for timing purposes because we opened for that um, long. But what I did, would do you guys is I would set aside 15 minutes a day to strictly do this. You don't answer <coughs> messages that are coming in and you strictly do this and grow your connection with people, um, especially those that are already commenting and stuff on your stuff, people that are already following you. And you really do this for 15 minutes a day, just 
maybe it's after lunch, during lunch, at night, whatever. But if you can have a laser focused 15 minute time on this alone, you're going to really start building some momentum. And especially if you go 30 days straight or however many days straight and create that habit and that momentum, for sure you will. So I'm going to mute myself and Amanda or Jolene, whichever one wants to grab the next one. It's all you. I can do it. Okay. Oops. The next one. Hold on. I'm going to share. There you go. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Happening. Sorry. You're okay. There you go. All right. Your next one is to go to your story and go to the viewers from the one that's about to expire. So if you don't know how to go to your story, <laughs> I'm sure you know how to go to it, but to go to the one that's about to expire. So go to your story and then swipe up and swipe all the way over. Well, I have a lot of stories today. So that it's the very first story that shows up. And you want to go through that list of people and thank them for following your post and then say something genuine. Again, go to their profile, kind of the same thing we just did, but you add in kind of, hey, thanks for watching my story. Um, it's kind of weird that I talk to my phone all day. <laughs> like, thanks for making me feel kind of normal. That's something I sometimes say that I heard from somebody else. And I was like, that's freaking true because otherwise we're just talking to ourselves. Thanks for making me not feel like I'm just talking to myself all day. Um, and then throw a question in there. It could be as simple as what do you do? Where do you live? Um, if you can look at their profile and actually give them a compliment or, you know, if you know something about them that is going to connect you a little bit better, then do that. Um, but you want to ask something. Another good question is what do you like to see most? I see that you watch my stories all the time. If it's somebody that you have not for message and you know that they watch your story all the time, ask them, hey, thanks for watching my stories all the time. Again, you know, thanks for making me not feel like I'm just talking to myself all day. Um, LOL, you know, try and make it a little funny. And then what do you like to see most? And I've gotten some good response from that. You know, they just love the inspiration or the workouts or whatever. Um, you know, I like to see ki people's kids. And so I would respond that way. So again, you're going to your most, the, the, po the story that's about to expire. That's the best way to explain it. Okay. So it's your oldest story and you're messaging all of those people. Any really, I look for people who I haven't connected with in a while and definitely new new followers that I've never connected with before. I have a lot of you guys that follow me and I clearly don't, obviously don't message you every day. Um, and I have some friends that just follow me that I don't message them all every day. But typically if you, the people that I message are farther down at the bottom. I don't know if that's normal. Okay. So like, the people that like you're interacting with most are probably at the top of your list and like newer people are going to be kind of more towards the bottom of your list. Hey, Amanda, so, can you say that again? This is something that I don't do that. I know I need to get better at, but it's like, I just have to five, four, three, two, one it. Like how to say it. Yes. Cause I, I feel like this is so weird to me. So you guys, I just want you to know too, I've been doing this coaching for like five years and I still get hung up on things like this. Totally. So, what did you say? I say something along the lines of, hey, thanks for watching my story. Um, it is sometimes weird. It's sometimes weird that I'm just talking to myself all day. Thanks for me not making me feel weird, LOL. You know, something along those lines to make it funny. And then either like, what do you do? Where do you live? Um, what do you like to see most on, in my stories? Like try and get them to give you a little bit of feedback from your stories. Yeah. Um, and I've actually gotten... Almost always do I get response from those. So thank you. It's an easy way just to start that connection. And a lot of times it even helps me, like, if I did not write them down, reminds me to reconnect again with somebody. 
because I see their name. I'll give you like four more minutes. Four I just minutes. I just put two examples of what I send people that oh, I've good. talked to before and then people I've never connected with. Just two quick examples of what I put in the chat too. Oh, and you guys, guess what? Instagram just uh, launched voice memos today. You can send voice, voice memos and messages. Yeah, why, why didn't I say this earlier? I just remembered as I was looking at it. But if you have not updated your app, update your app. And um, there is now a voice memo option, which is awesome. Because you can always send a video and you guys, you know what, just, I don't know if anyone knows, um, Kelsey, I don't know her last name, Shackley, the Shackleys, they're a couple that run this business together. But she, I like had commented to get a recipe of hers once, like uh, responded to a poll and she sent me a video back. And I was like, that's good. So don't be afraid to send like a three second video too, you know? You know what's really frustrating is that you used to be able to just go yeah. through and message and go back and message and go back. And now after you message, you have to go scroll all the way to the bottom mm -hmm. again. Little jerks. I know. It's like they knew we were doing it. But it's like, isn't it the point to connect with people? All right, one more minute. And it might not be enough time to get through everybody, so you might need to go back, um, go back through, but at least it'll be a start. And it doesn't even bring you back to that last story anymore. Which is annoying.
And everyone, just when you do ask why people follow your stories, don't have your feelings hurt if they say they just click through and so it randomly goes through your stories because they just go through because it happens to everybody. I just asked a girl who used to be a student of mine and I'm like, so what did you, can I ask why you like my stories? I see you watch them every day. What do you like about them? What I typed in the chat basically. And she's like, to be honest, I just click through the stories and click through everybody's. I'm like, so you don't love me? <laughs> but um, anyway, so I'm just telling you that because if I was new and I asked that question and someone answered me that way, it would make me fearful to ask more people. Don't, mm -hmm. don't let that. Okay. So you should do that every day. Like Lindsay, I think it was a few months ago when we, Lindsay was like, every morning, it's the first thing I'm going to do. And so put it somewhere in your day that you make it a habit that it happens every day. So Jillian, do you want to do the next one? Or do you want us to? It's just message everyone who liked and commented. Message everyone who liked and commented on your last few posts. Okay. So if you go to um like go to your homepage. And if you haven't made a post in a while, probably you should make a post. Like I need to make a post. Um, yeah, it's been, a, it's been too many days, but so like go through and you can find whoever um, liked your post and send a message. So it says liked by, and then it'll say one person and then like eight or 10 or 15, hopefully a hundred people, right? <laughs> hopefully they all say a hundred people liked your post. <laughs> I didn't say that, but they will one day, right? So then you can go through and send them a message and it would just be like, Hey, thanks so much for liking my post. Um, like I'll do an example for this one. So it was my 12 days of fitness. So that's what's going on right now. It's a free group that I have. Um, and so I would message them and just say, Hey, Amanda, thanks so much for, um, liking my 12 days of fitness. How are the holidays going for you? Were you like, I would say, were you just liking my post or did you want me to send you over the details on how you can jump in with us? So it's like a soft invite without being weird because they liked your post. Same thing on, on Facebook. That was a huge mistake that I made in the very beginning. Um, I don't know if, if Amanda or Lindsay did this too, but I didn't realize the importance of those likes or even comments for you to open up a channel of chat. Mm -hmm. And I missed out on like miss the boat on that one completely. So if it's been a while, even on your Facebook or your Instagram, that you're not just saying, Hey, even a, Hey, thanks so much for liking my post. I appreciate the support. Like, boom, it kind of takes the wall down to them. And then you could say, I never know if people are just liking to support or if you liked because you wanted to get the details. So it's another way for you to ask. There's lots of different ways that you can say that. Um, but yeah, so I would go back through and actually some of these people are people that um, I don't even know or that I don't even follow that are on my likes or that have liked it. You know what I mean? So you can even go back to old posts and um, or like one that got a lot of likes. Like I have one that has 66 likes and I should go and thank everyone for liking that um, and just make the connect with them. So if you haven't done that, take how, how much time are we taking you guys? Like three or three minutes or so. And just, yeah. So we'll go to like 751. So just send out some messages there. Yes, Bree. Same thing with me. People click polls on accident constantly. Oh my gosh. That happens to me. And then I'll be like, Hey, I saw that you liked my that you voted on my poll and then it's like, no. Or they're like, oh, my kid had my phone. It uh. wasn't I'm like, oh, okay, awesome. Or if you guys didn't know this is, if you guys didn't know this, I just had to tell Bree this the other day. If you're on Facebook and you're, um, you have people fill out your poll who are your followers, it doesn't show you who filled it out. So I have to like put a little blurb sentence in there that says, hey, and if you're following me and not actually my friend, you'll need to send me a message if you want the details. So I have so many people say, I need more info but I can't tell who it is because they're a follower. And so it won't give and you not a friend. Yeah. And it wasn't give you, it'll say 
that somebody voted on your thing and then it will just show one answer because it was a follower and it doesn't show you their name. So yeah, just a heads up on that. in this. All right, like 30 more seconds here. All right. Do you want me to do the last one? Yeah, go ahead. So we're gonna set a timer to scroll through your feed, not long, five minutes is plenty. Interact, comment, like. This ensures you pop up in the news feed of others. So everybody knows what their feed looks like. So it's like the home button here at the bottom that little home button, hit that, right? And then kind of scroll through, and I think five minutes is too long. We're gonna do this for two and a half minutes. I hate scrolling the Instagram newsfeed for some reason. Um, I, is it just me or do you, I don't even look at the Instagram newsfeed really a lot anymore. I go to the, my stories. Same, I don't scroll. 
Yeah. So we'll do this for a couple minutes, Joe, just to see who is coming up in yours. And like, um, like it said, just like a few and interact or maybe on those couple people that you just started, started a couple of the people that you just started following, um, maybe go through and search and do a couple more likes on those and go back, you know, or maybe somebody you haven't talked to in a long time. If you're not seeing any new people that you really want to interact on your newsfeed. Give, give us some love, give us some double taps, double taps. <laughs> Has anybody else seen the blend jet? Like that keeps popping up in my news feed because I want one of those. It's like a battery operated blender that supposedly is, um, it's got a rechargeable battery in it. Um, mm -hmm. And it's like, it's got it like a ninja blade, but you can literally take it anywhere you want. And it comes in these mm -hmm. different colors. So it keeps coming up in my newsfeed because the marketing that they do. Yeah. I keep getting blenders, goggles, ski goggles, which I'm going to buy because they're sweet. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> About another minute and a half on that. All right. I think that's it because the picture's gone. I don't know about you guys. This was fun though. I liked the nice switch up of actually focusing, doing focused work on Instagram. Anyone else that kind of mm -hmm. like your first time doing that? Anyone on the call? Um, I like that. And I feel like it's less intimidating on Instagram. Maybe it's just me. I don't know why, but I feel like I have zero Fs to give when it comes to Instagram. But on my Facebook, I like triple think everything. And I'm like, well, I don't want them to be talking about me or like say something about an Instagram. It's like, what? Okay. I don't know you. I don't know why it's so different, but. It is. It's just more open. That's normal on Instagram. You, yeah. you follow people you don't know. Um, and that's normal to talk to the people that you don't know. Where on Facebook, you have to be friends with the person. Mm -hmm. So Otherwise, you're like, I know what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. I know what you're, you're trying to sell me something, aren't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which I feel like that's all Facebook is anymore. But whatever. Yeah. I had the conversation yesterday with my, my dad how I still work in a pyramid scheme. Oh. I told him about the Christmas party that I went to at Christina's and he's like, for that pyramid scheme thing. I said, it's not a pyramid scheme. He said, well, yeah, the person above you makes all the money. And I said, well, no, actually they don't. And he goes, I still think it sounds like a pyramid scheme. Like, okay. Oh, I don't care. That's good to know. Right. So some exactly. people just know that even the people closest to you are going to, they're not going to get it. Exactly. Okay. They don't have to get it. Does anybody have any questions before we go? Lindsay said, gotta grab the baby. Mama, 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 Right? Does anyone have any questions or anything they want to add? Did you guys get a lot done on Instagram? Yeah? They're the baby. Oh. He's not having it. He wants milk. <laughs> and you'll learn to like it. Where is she? Where is Anne? Well, props to you for sure. making a video. I didn't see your video, Anne, but I saw your comment. And props to you for yeah. taking another route without anybody even responding yet and you thinking outside the box to do yeah, that. That was great. Awesome. 
hopefully you got some more feedback. If not, you went to the one-to-one -one that I suggested. I didn't like Instagram for the longest time because I think I just didn't like get it. Yeah. And now I don't even go on Facebook. I actually just changed my Instagram account back to a personal account. And to be honest, I know we're not, I know we've always said, don't do this. I've just been sharing my Instagram posts over to my Facebook and I don't really care. <laughs> my stories have been sharing over there and I literally just messaged all the people who watched my Facebook story saying, Hey, thanks so much. I just started sharing my Instagram stories over here. Um, do you always watch stories? And what are you, are you liking my seeing my crazy life or something? And I already got two responses from the people that I sent that to. So I, awesome. I feel like switching things up a little bit. I'm getting different people commenting and liking on my posts on Facebook now too, which is interesting. So I don't know. Could just be a fluke or it could be some weird algorithm that Facebook's got going on over here. Yeah. So. All right. Awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for jumping on. Love you guys. Bye, everyone. We'll see Bye. you guys later. <laughs>